In the previous two videos we have dealt with heat pipe production and the manufacture of heatsink and base plate. In what follows we finish making the cooler and show you its final assembly and quality checking stages. To attach the main part of the heatsink to the base plate and the heat pipes, the cooler is baked in a furnace. In preparation, solder is applied to the plate and the upper and undersides firmly held with a temporary clamp. Thereafter, the clamp and fixture are inspected. Even small errors in this assembly will cause the cooler to be thrown out by quality control. For this reason, the furnace conveyor line runs at sufficiently slow pace to permit accurate inspection. The assemblies undergo several stages of heating in the soldering furnace, ranging from 200 to 286 degrees Celsius. When they have cooled down, the temporary clamps are removed and further quality checks are made. At all stages of production, painstaking attention is paid to ensure the fins are equally spaced and not bent. The tightness of the soldering is tested using light. Even when only the tiniest of gaps is detected, the cooler is rejected at this stage. After a cleaning stage in the process, the base plate is measured again and we carefully check this is horizontal and level to micrometer accuracy. After this, as here with our Pure Rock series, we make sure the cooling performance of randomly chosen samples comply with our guidelines. For this test we mount a regular fan on the air cooler which is then pressed against the heat spots designated for adding thermal paste and check the readings, which must also fulfill the criteria even without a Be Quiet fan. In the case of our high-end coolers such as Dark Rock 3 and Dark Rock Pro 3, every cooler without exception that we produce is tested in several testing chambers. We run the cooler through a functionality test under temperature ambient conditions of exactly 24 degrees Celsius. We measure the delta T, which is the airside temperature difference between room temperature and the measured CPU temperature. The result must lie between 26.8 and 28 degrees Celsius to satisfy our strict requirements. When these tests are complete, the finished cooler is packaged and shipped to Germany, where from each produce batch we again sample the coolers and run tests on them, so that one thing is always assured, the high quality of our products that our fans are accustomed to. This was the third and last video about the cooler production. If you missed the other two, here are the videos. We hope you had fun watching these insights into our work. If you have any questions about this topic or wishes for further behind the scenes videos, please leave a comment below and please subscribe our channel. So see you soon and as always, stay.